In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate calling SVM native REST web services via an orchestration. For this purpose, I will use a call to the submit to project post function to show how one can submit an item to another project via orchestration workflows. The video will show a simple workflow to explain the concept, but workflows such as this can be expanded into much more complex ones. In this case, the REST payload is sent within a text doc element, which sends data with the send as text option set to true. To begin with, we create a simple application workflow and attach an asynchronous organization workflow to it. So this is what we're seeing uh, right now. So this is the transition which executes the call to the orchestration workflow. To this orchestration workflow, we add a calculate step and service step containing the call to the post function. So this is the calculate step and the service step. The first thing that is required here is to define the payload variable and its content. As you can see, I have done this in a working data variable named AE reg body, which is of complex type and contains a string element named text doc, which holds the payload. It is important that this element is always named text doc. The containing element's name is irrelevant. In this particular case, the payload contains the names of the fields which will be populated and their values, which in this case are the title and description fields. This particular orchestration uses fixed values for the sake of brevity, but they could be set dynamically. For more detail on how the payload is set and defined, please see the SBM JSON API guide. Once the working data is defined, we set up a service step containing the operation, which calls the POST function. Now, the main point uh, in this service step uh, is the REST URL, which defines the URL to the REST resource and also the API to the REST resource, which in this case is the JSON API, which I'm uh, executing the submit to project UBG issues animation pro call, meaning that this API executes a submit to project uh, call to this particular project. As I said before, it's important that the send as text option is set to true. And for the sake of simplicity, we have uh, set the authorization type here to SVM token. This operation here is provided by the SVM REST caller. Now, as you can see, the body XML here, which is the element which uh, receives the payload, is empty. But it is empty because we have uh, associated the payload to this element in the calculate step. And you can see that here. So as you can see, the working data element has been associated with the body XML element in this step. And that's why in the uh, service step, it is empty. Now, to demonstrate how this works, I will execute this organization workflow from an SBM application workflow, which represents the workflow which we saw just uh, now. And the organization workflow will be executed from the call AE submit transition, which is what we saw here. So by executing this transition, I will be submitting a new item to a different project. And this is how this works. So I just OK and take everything as default. And then I go to the project in which I have submitted the item. And sure enough, there is the item in the intended project with the description, which I have stipulated in the orchestration, and also the title, which I have stipulated in the orchestration. And you can see that again here in the orchestration workflow. So as you can see, the title is supposed to be browser hangs, the description is supposed to be test with AE REST, and that is exactly what we are seeing in the newly submitted item using an SBM REST call from an orchestration. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching.